While Transformers are made of sterner stuff than human flesh and blood, they're still susceptible to infection by certain kinds of disease that attack and slowly eat away at the unique living metal of their bodies. In this episode, we're looking at perhaps the most famous of these robotic ailments, Cosmic Rust. Cosmic Rust was introduced in the original 1980s Transformers animated series, in the 1985 episode that shared its name. Writer Paul Davids was inspired to create a story about a Transformer disease by the AIDS crisis affecting America at the time, and he based his script around the idea of a lost ancient civilization, a kind of Autobot Atlantis that had been wiped out by the robotic equivalent of the Black Death. The story began on the planet Antilla, a world that millions of years ago was settled by a legion of Autobots who built a technologically advanced civilization. The implication was that, as is often the case in stories of Atlantis, the Antillans' hubris was their downfall. When asteroids containing cosmic rust germs fell on their world, the energy of a powerful Antillan weapon, a heat ray shaped like an insect, inadvertently fed the disease, causing it to spread rapidly and uncontrollably throughout the population. The entire civilization rusted to death, leaving behind an ominous recording to warn anyone who came to the planet of the danger cosmic rust posed. If Cybertron be your home, far away never roam. Hear my message, listen and fear. Danger comes, the end is near. Just like us, you soon will rust. All shall be turned to dust. In the present day, the Decepticons happened upon the deserted Antilla and, heedless of the warning, stole the heat ray from the ruins. As they were leaving the planet, Megatron was hit by an orbiting chunk of asteroid and was soon infected by cosmic rust. Returning to Earth, the Decepticons' search for a cure led them to capture Autobot scientist Perceptor, who, as luck would have it, had just recently invented an anti-corrosive named Corostop that proved able to heal the rust infection. Unfortunately, Perceptor himself was infected with cosmic rust while treating Megatron, and when the Decepticons returned him to the Autobots, the disease quickly began spreading amongst their ranks, thanks in no small part to Megatron accelerating the process by turning the Antillan heat ray on them. Racing against time, the Autobots were able to successfully mass-produce enough Corostop to heal themselves, and destroyed the heat ray for good. Since its introduction, cosmic rust has become one of the most frequently reoccurring diseases in Transformer lore, usually employed by the Decepticons as a biological weapon. It first reappeared in 2003 as part of the storyline for the Transformers Binaltech toyline. Set within the continuity of the original cartoon, this story saw Decepticon conman Swindle unleash the disease on Autobot City, badly damaging many Autobots and forcing them to be upgraded into new human-built bodies created using Binaltech technology. Cosmic Rust returned to TV screens in 2009 in the Transformers animated cartoon. In this series, it was created in a lab by the Decepticon chemist Oil Slick, who infected Autobot team leader Rodimus Prime with it during a battle. In the 2011 live-action movie Dark of the Moon, turncoat Autobot Sentinel Prime wielded a cosmic rust cannon, which he used to kill Ironhide. It wasn't until 2014 that the original idea of cosmic rust as an ancient, unstoppable plague sweeping across entire worlds was revisited in the Aligned continuity. For this version of the story, as related in the guidebook The Covenant of Primus, the disease's original pretty cartoonish name was dropped, and it was instead referred to simply as the Rust Plague. 
The Covenant described how, millions of years ago, during the Golden Age of Cybertron, when the Transformer race was in the process of spreading across the galaxy and establishing colonies on different planets, the Rust Plague was discovered on an ancient, lifeless world by an Autobot research team, who believed it to have been engineered by a long-dead civilization as an anti-mechanoid weapon. In the process of shipping a sample of the plague to a storage facility for safekeeping, the disease was accidentally unleashed, and quickly began spreading across the colonies via the network of space bridges that linked the planets together. To prevent the extinction of the entire Cybertronian race, the Autobots were forced to destroy the space bridges, stopping the spread of the plague by cutting Cybertron and the colonies off from one another. Though the strategy was successful, it marked the end of Cybertron's golden age, and the beginning of the oppressive government regime that ultimately led to the rise of the Decepticons and the outbreak of the war. The Covenant story would be loosely adapted into the Transformers Cyberverse animated series in 2018, which showed events from Bumblebee's perspective. He and Hot Rod were visiting his friend Blur on the colony world of Velocitron when an infected robot brought the Plague of Rust to the planet. Velocitron was rapidly consumed by the rust, with only Bumblebee and Hot Rod surviving, escaping through the space bridge back to Cybertron, while Blur, infected by the plague, gave up his life to remain behind and shut the bridge down. Cosmic rust isn't the only rusting disease that Transformers have had to deal with over the years. The Marvel comic book featured Corodia Gravis, a non-communicable disease that the Dinobot Snarl suffered from. IDW Publishing's comic books featured the Red Rust Virus, brewed up by renegade Autobot medic Pharma. Even ordinary rust is a common symptom of general ill health among Transformers, manifesting as a result of sickness or disrepair or old age as an irritating but generally harmless rash. Outside of the titular disease itself, the original cartoon episode has had a variety of other notable influences on Transformers lore also worth mentioning here. The planet Antilla has reappeared several times, most prominently in IDW's comic books, in which it was transformed through a combination of magic and science into the monster planet Unicron. A hieroglyphic language seen in the episode, identified by Starscream as Ancient Autobot, has served as the inspiration for two substitution ciphers, one created by writer Jim Sorensen, the other by video game developers High Moon Studios, used to encode hidden messages in multiple different pieces of media. Sorensen's cipher has seen particularly extensive use just recently in the War for Cybertron Siege toy line, with hidden messages printed on the toy packaging that could be decoded through the official Transformers website. Then there's the Autobot combiner team, the Rust Renegades, released in 2015's Combiner Wars toy line. Each member of the group had a portion of the rhyming Antillan warning message from the cartoon written on their bodies in High Moon's cipher. And when all six merge into their combined mode, Victorion, their individual weapons also merge to form a huge sword designed to look like a giant insect, just like the Antillan Heat Ray. And that about does it for this episode. Stay healthy out there, or as the Autobots say, may your luster never dull and your wires never cross. And those are the basics on Cosmic Rust. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers. And remember, you can get early access to new episodes by supporting the series on Patreon.